Yo, what's up everyone? Nick Smith is back with another video. Quick notice, once again, I'm a little bit sick. But, it's sick as in the way that, I'm not, I'm not like, I don't have like a massive cold or anything like that. It's just the weather in Australia. For those that don't know, when it gets winter in the US, most of you guys live in the US. So when it gets winter in the US, it gets cold. In Australia, it gets hot. And I don't know, there's like pollen and all this stuff in the air and just... I don't know, it makes me sick, so my bad for that, hopefully you can still enjoy the video, but I do sound a little bit weird, my bad. But, something that will cheer me up, is this Christmas Day, LeBron James vs Kevin Durant match up the Cleveland Cavaliers vs the Golden State Warriors, it's gonna be, I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited to say the least, but first off, I hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a fantastic holidays and a great time celebrating whatever you celebrate. And keep in mind that some people aren't fortunate enough to celebrate Christmas and celebrate the things they want to celebrate because they don't have that privilege. So try and help out as much as you can. But in saying that, most of you guys celebrate Christmas, so happy Christmas and happy holidays. So I won't lie. I'm excited as all hell to watch the NBA Finals rematch with the new addition of Kevin Durant to match up against King James. This game should be one of the best games all season, and I just hope it lives up to the hype. But the fact that this is the first time they've played all year, and we will actually see them face off against each other since, well, Game 7 of the NBA Finals must make you hype, because it sure damn makes me hype. In this video, I want to talk about both teams, the Cavs and the Warriors so far this season. I want to talk about the rivalry, I want to talk about the matchups, and lastly, I want to talk about my predictions, and I want to hear your predictions in the comment section down below. If you enjoy these types of videos, I'd love it if you guys could subscribe for more, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. They have not met since June 19, when the Cleveland Cavaliers upset the Golden State Warriors 93-89 as a 5-point road underdogs to come down 3 games to 1 and win their first ever NBA championship. Now, this is a rivalry that I expect to see for many, many years, and Draymond, one of the biggest trash talkers in the NBA, has already had some things to say about the rivalry. If Cleveland comes out of the East, I want to destroy Cleveland. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. This is something that I would actually love to see a lot more of. More rivalries and more trash talk between teams and players, just like it was in the old days, but that's for another video. The reason that I'm mentioning Draymond Green is because I believe if the Warriors win, I think he'll be the deciding factor. I know it sounds crazy because they've got Durant and Curry as well as Clay Thompson, but if you remember, Draymond Green was actually suspended in Game 5 of last year's NBA Finals. Now, whether you believe he should have or shouldn't have, that's up to you. But many believe that if Draymond Green wasn't suspended for Game 5, the Golden State Warriors would have repeated as NBA champions, and we would be talking about a potential 3 peat right now. However, that's not the case, and it's eating Draymond Green alive to say the least. Now, I'm not sure if I believe this statement, but I hear it quite a lot. The fact that if Draymond Green was there in Game 5, they would have won. I mean, uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers were still a pretty solid team. Remember that. They wouldn't have come back 3 games to 1 for no apparent reason. They have LeBron James, and they deserve to win the NBA Championship. But, you have a case. Had Draymond Green played? Yeah, okay. They would have had a chance. Now, obviously, Draymond Green is still furious about the whole situation. But I also know that there are steps to get to that point. And if and when we get to that point, I want to annihilate them. Which is why I think he'll have a big game. So, that's my reasoning. Anyway, all summer long, the Golden State Warriors couldn't go anywhere without hearing the three games to one comments or the choke comments. But now with former MVP and four-time scoring champion, Kevin Durant in the Bay Area, the expectation is championship or bust. However, this would have been the expectation even without Durant on the team. They were 73-9 and, and choked away a series 3 games to 1 in the NBA Finals. Doesn't really get much worse than that. I'm, I'm sorry Golden State fans. I know for a fact that this Christmas Day is going to be crazy. At 27-4, and four, entering the second half of the year, the Golden State Warriors is still quietly on a 71 win pace once again, assuming that they'll play the slightest bit better in the second half of the season, which it's assumed that they will because now they have a lot more chemistry. But like I said, if you don't think that both teams will be ready for this game, you're wrong. 
I'll be super surprised if this game turns into a blowout. Curry vs Kyrie, LeBron vs Durant, Love vs Draymond, and well, this is where it gets interesting because who's going to take Klay Thompson? No J.R. Smith, he's out for 12 to 14 weeks, and I'm not sure who will take Klay Thompson, but what I will say is when you look at the two benches, that is what will win the game. Cleveland's bench versus the Warriors bench may be the deciding factor when the game comes down to the wire. Alright, so we've pretty much talked a lot about the Warriors. Now let's talk about the Cleveland Cavaliers. So if you didn't know that J.R. Smith was out for three months with a broken thumb, now you do. I know he's not a member of the big three in Cleveland, and I know he's not a player that people talk about when it comes down to winning. But in my opinion, J.R. Smith is one of those players that can really change a game. If he's hot, he'll light up anyone from deep. And to be honest, I think the Cavs will miss him against the Warriors in this game. In saying that, LeBron is being LeBron, once again absolutely killing it just like every season, and he doesn't really look to be slowing down anytime soon. Also, now he'll be facing off against Kevin Durant for the first time since he joined the Golden State Warriors, which should be pretty cool to watch. As for the other members of the Cavs Big 3, Kyrie is still crossing people up and doing his thing, and Kevin Love has really had a bounce back year and surprised a lot of people with his high stats in both points and rebounds. But the thing that will win the Cavs the game, in my opinion, is their bench depth. Now, obviously that's whether they play well or not, because keep in mind, the Warriors don't have the worst bench depth either. I'm just saying, if the Cavaliers want to win this game, which they obviously do, they'll need a lot of help from their bench unit. Now, before I give my predictions for the game, I want to briefly touch up on the new rivalry that I believe we're actually seeing, so let's get into this. Now, get this. No two teams have ever played each other in the finals in three consecutive years. And I think this season, we might have once again another historic feat. I mean, at this point, does it really seem like any other two teams are going to make the NBA Finals? Unless, of course, something happens with injuries. I just, I don't think so. I don't think it's even a question at this point. This Cleveland Cavaliers and Golden State Warriors matchups are ones that we don't want to forget. And it makes it a rivalry. And I'm pretty excited because, honestly, I know it sounds crazy. And I know it's a really, really big statement. But I believe this rivalry can go for many, many years. And I think it won't go, it won't be like the Lakers and the Celtics, but it could be like a similar type of scenario. It won't, you can't have a bigger rivalry than the Lakers and Celtics, but you can have a big rivalry like the Bulls and Knicks. And I think this Warriors and Cavaliers rivalry could be like the Bulls and the Knicks looking back 20 years after from now. I, I truly believe that because we're witnessing something that, is pretty crazy in here, like really, really crazy. I'm excited, I think this is something that uh, that we can really look forward to every year. Because when you know the Cavaliers are facing the Warriors now, you know you're getting something. Because in past years, we haven't really seen that. I mean, we had the Miami Heat and the Spurs. We, we Once again, we had the Lakers and the Celtics. We sort of had the Mavericks and the Heat, not really. But this Warriors-Cavaliers, man, it's, it's a rivalry and I think people can actually back it up now, especially even after head coach Tyrone Liu of the Cleveland Cavaliers said, it's definitely a rivalry. Each team, when you go out and play, you're definitely thinking about each other. It's just how it is. We have a long way to go before we get to the end. But when you talk about the championship or the finals, you always just say Golden State and Cleveland. It's not that easy. So if Tyrone Liu actually said that, and many of the players are agreeing with him, even Draymond Green, I think we have a pretty cool rivalry on our hands, which makes this Christmas game even better. Anyway, here are my predictions, and whilst I'm telling you guys my predictions, I want to hear your predictions down below in the comment section, and if you guys could also drop a like, that would be absolutely amazing. If we can reach 4,000 likes for a Christmas video, I would love that. Anyway, here are my predictions for this game. Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Golden State Warriors. Cleveland is winning this game, alright? Let me know down below, who do you have winning? Cleveland or Golden State? I've got Cleveland, I'll explain why. Here it is. LeBron James, he controls the tempo of the game. When a team doesn't control the tempo of the game, that's when Golden State loves to do work. I mean, they just run out on the break and shoot threes. That's not a bad game style because they've got, what, 
three of the greatest shooters in the bloody NBA? Yeah, it's a good style, alright? But I'm just saying, when they slow the game down, they're not as good as when the game is sped up and they're running out on the break, they're passing, their ball movement is on point, and they're shooting threes. LeBron James, he decides what's going to happen. He's like, dude, I'm, I'm pushing the pace. Or he's like, dude, I'm slowing it down. And that is LeBron James. That's what he does, and that's what he'll do. So, I think he's going to slow the game down in this game. And I think you're going to see a, a lot of ball movement from Cleveland on, on the opposite spectrum because obviously the Warriors are amazing at ball movement. They're the best since San Antonio did it back in, you know, when Timmy D was Timmy D and not retired. And, you know, Manu was Manu, wasn't old. And Tony Parker was Tony Parker and he could run. Golden State is probably the next team other than the Spurs, in my opinion, because their ball movement, their, their ball movement is freaking insane. They, they're really, really good. And I mean, it's probably because Steve Kerr, he played under Greg Popovich. He knows, he knows how to run a team, all right? He's, he's a good coach. I, I won't lie. But I've got Cleveland winning this game. Um, and I think LeBron, he controls the tempo of the game, which really, that will decide uh, the, the outcome, in my opinion. I think tempo is a big key to winning a game against the Warriors. The next thing is, their bench depth, to me, seems really, really good this season. Um, in saying that, J.R. Smith is out with an injury. He's a big part to what Cleveland does. I mean, if they ever need a three, J.R. Smith is that guy. That means Kyrie just has to step up with a few more threes per game. Um, when, when obviously J.R. Smith is out and obviously in this game, which I think he'll do because he's on Stephen Curry and when Clay switches on Kyrie, uh, that's when it sort of gets a little bit tricky because now there's no J.R. Smith. So that's the only issue I see with Cleveland. And on the other side, if you think the Warriors will go down at any point in this game, you might be right. But if you don't think they're going to come back, if you don't think they're going to shoot their way back into a game against Cleveland, man, I, I they, you're wrong. I think if Golden State ever goes down by 10, they're getting back into the game like, they're getting back into the game so fast, it's going to be crazy. So I'm excited for today. My other predictions, um, these are sort of like small predictions. They don't really mean anything. It's sort of just like guessing how many points someone will drop. And, you know, it's just fun predictions that I can look back on and see if I was you know, right, or if I was just completely wrong and I look like a dummy, but uh, LeBron, I think he'll have a good stat line, maybe uh, 27, 8 and 10, 8 rebounds, 10 assists, uh, Kyrie, I think he'll really uh, step up in this one, I think he'll have 25, 4 and 6 assists, 4 rebounds, Love, I think he'll have 22, 12 rebounds, and uh, yeah, like, I don't know, 1 block, to assist, something like that. Uh, Curry, I don't think he'll play for... I, I know, I know. Some people are going to get angry at me down below in the comment section. Curry, he'll have like 20. All right, 20 points, 5 assists, 4 rebounds. Clay, he'll have 22 points, couple of assists, couple of rebounds. Draymond, I think he'll step up though. I, I can see Draymond stepping up. I think Draymond will end up with 23, 12 rebounds, 3 steals, 7 assists. Two blocks and I do see Kevin Durant having a I think he'll have the best game I think he'll have 30 points eight rebounds two steals so yeah those are my predictions let me know down below what your predictions are and if you guys enjoyed the video subscribe leave a like and I'll catch you guys in my next one my bad I sound I, I sound so bad right now my apologies I just want to be I want to be healthy I want to be making videos but it's just annoying as hell anyway New video on my second channel might be out soon because I haven't posted on my second channel for two freaking months. If you guys want to subscribe to my second channel, I'll leave a link down below in the description. You might want to subscribe because crazy videos are going to come to that channel soon. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, I'm out. Peace!